Eyewitness News at 5. Well, a 100-year-old woman says she was fighting to keep her home that she's lived in for more than half a century. As she tells us, her landlord's trying to force her out of the rent-controlled apartment on the Upper East Side while she's been away recovering from a broken hip. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth live in Miss Smithtown with the story. Michelle. Well, as you're about to hear, uh, this 100-year-old woman is a fighter. She says her landlords want her out so they can fix the place and charge almost $3,000 a month market rate rent. She moved in in 1963. She paid $57 a month then. Now for this rent-controlled two-bedroom apartment, she's paying almost $150. And she's been out of the apartment, she admits, for one year. It's an apartment on First Avenue on the Upper East Side. And the landlord has informed her since she's not a full-time resident now, she must move. She says, aha, uh -huh, yeah, so you can fix it and charge almost $3,000 market rate. Ms. Justo Lopez, the 100-year-old tenant, explains she's been out for a year because she broke her pelvis and has been recuperating out here with her daughter in Smithtown. She broke her pelvis because her walker, she explains, rolled away from her on floors she had complained were dangerously slanted in that apartment. There was no comment today from the management company that represents the landlords. When I went to get the chair, then I finished to get into this from court bed. I don't find the chair because the chair started to run to the heel of the floor. She's never missed a rent payment. She moved in this apartment in the 60s. Her rent is very low because of something called rent regulation. And the only reason she's not living there is because she had an injury where she got out of bed, she went to reach her walker. Her walker rolled away and she fell out of the bed and broke her pelvis. It makes me sad because I had to fight whatever I think I, I was, no mine, but comfortable. Yeah, she says it makes her sad because, you know, it may not have been hers, but she was comfortable. Uh, remember, she was there since uh, 1963. She's still there. It's just that she's out here in Smithtown recuperating from that broken pelvis. Coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, more from Ms. Lopez. And certainly she's not the only person in a rent-controlled apartment feeling pressure. Advice for any tenants who might be feeling that pressure and some good news about the law. We are live in Smithtown. Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Michelle, thank you.